dab when you hear that. Now, if you love music and have an undying passion for it, you probably know that, uh, you know, that career or people in show business are underrated. However, the stories of the richest musicians in Ghana are definitely going to make you pick up a musical instrument and hit the studios very soon. You can mention the likes of Sarkodie, the Stone Boys, the Shatawales, the Kiddies, name them now. One gentleman who is ready to join the league of successful, rich and influential musicians in Ghana is Kinsley Rhymes. He is a UK-based Ghanaian musician and he joins me in studio to tell us his story and share his journey. Good morning. So what, Dab, when you hear that, I mean, so I should think that because you, you don't live in Ghana, most of your lyrics are inspired by what you see yeah, out, yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah. Okay. So how do you describe your type of music? Um, well, I basically do everything because I'm, I'm a rapper. You're so a rapper, okay. I, I do Afro B, Afro Swing, Grime, whatever you call it. So okay. today I can go to the studio and feel like doing Grime, which is like a UK type of, a UK genre of music. Mm -hmm. Or today I can feel like doing Afro B, Afro Swing or Hip Hop. Yeah, so okay. like that one here that was produced by Miss Master Gazi. Okay. So yeah. So yeah, that's but like but that so me. but so what what is in that song? What 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 does it teach us? Is there anything? Oh, with dab, it's okay. just like basically to get people happy, like get happy. people dancing. Do you get? It? And okay. it was during that time that the dab move came on, so we just had to do something that mm -hmm. basically correspond with what the people actually like. Okay. Yeah. And I, I've heard your song Me Feel You Style, no? Yeah. What, what what do you feel? Who, who style are you feeling? Well, with that particular song, a lot of times when people hear that song, like they ask me that question a lot. <laughs> but apart from that, like when you listen to my verse, my verse was inspired by the fact that a lot of people feel like because we are musicians, we tend to like um, have numerous women in our lives. So with that particular song, I was trying to portray that the fact that I'm a musician doesn't necessarily mean that this is what I do. Mm -hmm. So it's like me communicating to a girl saying that, oh, I can be a musician, but still you are the one I want. It doesn't but mean that I'm a player. Style, no? Yeah, so basically uh, I like your style, so you have to trust that you are the one I want, okay. not anyone else. And was that inspired by what is happening in the UK or here in Ghana? Or just oh, with general? that song I recorded yeah. in Ghana. You recorded yeah. that one in Ghana? That was, I recorded a song when I wanted to find myself because I, I realized that I've been in the UK for a very long time, so I really wanted to find my sound. Because I wanted to do like I wanted to project Ghanaian music, and okay. me being in the UK for a very long time, everything that was inspired by was things around the UK. Mm -hmm. Do you get me? So I felt I realized that my sound was getting lost. So I had to come down to Ghana like three or four years ago to record it. Okay. So yeah, it was produced by Osad B. So you've been in Ghana for how long? Oh, I've been in Ghana since December. Okay. Yeah, Are you back for good? No, no, no. Hopefully, when this whole okay. Tiki Haga goes, then. Okay. Man, okay. So you are locked yeah. down in Ghana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, you, I, I gather, I'm just reading about you, and I gather you, you value education. Yeah, yeah. Very you don't much, just, much, yeah. yeah. You are in the university. Yes, yeah, Central well, Lancashire. Okay, in the UK. Yeah. What, what are you studying? I'm studying biomedical science. Biomedical science. Yeah. What has that got to do with music? You have to understand that music is also a form of therapy. Okay. GSU. So a lot of times, too, you sort of need that correlation between it, you get me? and secondly like before I decided to take music seriously like I was already offering my course and it's not something that I decided to just leave because I love doing I love challenging stuff because mm -hmm. before I went into science during my college years I done business and I felt I, I saw that that wasn't something that I was good at mm -hmm. so I decided to switch into something that I was more interested in and whilst I was in Ghana I realized that I was good with science and stuff like that I was inspired by a lot of things like mm -hmm. Back in Ghana, there's little things that we take for granted. Like, I remember back in the days, I used to chase lizards, cockroaches, kill them, <laughs> trying to figure out how this... In the is. UK or in no, Ghana? No, in Ghana, before I moved to the UK. <laughs> okay. So I was trying to figure out how all these things work. Do you get me? So when I moved to the UK, I realized that that was something that if I have a lot more insight about, like, it would be something that would be good to me. So I decided to offer the course in biomedical science and hopefully I'm moving on to study medicine. And how does that infuse into your music career? I mean, is, that, is there any way that we can reconcile the two? Well, to be honest, I don't think it is, but okay. like, as I said, music is a form experience. of therapy. So okay. even with music, you can still heal people with your music, mm -hmm. do you get it? Because mm -hmm. a lot of times, even in the theatres, 
like people survive with this type of music they hear. Mm -hmm. Do you get me? So with me being a musician, I still feel like I'm still doing the same type of job. Mm -hmm. Do you get me? So yeah. I'm, I'm told you're releasing a debut. Yeah, an EP. An EP. What yeah. is an EP? An EP is basically an extended play, a short form of an album, and a it's short titled form. Okay. of an album, and it's titled Gift and Curses. Gift and Curses. Yeah. Okay, but how many? Um, songs do you have on that day? It's nine songs. Nine songs. Yeah. Okay. With and one of them being an interlude. Okay, but it's Mifiliu part of it. Yeah, Mifiliu Stan is on there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm hoping that we have Mifiliu so we can yeah, just yeah. have a feel The video of, is already out, so of yeah. Mifiliu. And then, yeah, so I'm sure that the producer is getting it yeah. ready. But in the meantime, what do you make of the Ghana music industry? I feel like the Ghana music industry now is, is growing. I can't lie because over in the UK, like a lot of artists come through, come and perform and like the way the UK, like, like for me, for instance, the first time that I went to the UK, that was like mm -hmm. almost 10, 12 years ago. Mm -hmm. During those days, I wasn't proud to be uh, to let people know that I'm Ghanaian, mm -hmm. do you get me? Because there was nothing that was really representing us. As. So even, when, even on the bus, I didn't even want to speak at all because like i didn't have something that can hold on and be like yeah i'm ghanaian but now but you since do. like there's fuse odg yeah. pumps and flavor yeah. my brother star vc yeah. kevin omar all these people like are holding the uk music um the ghanaian music down in the down, uk yeah. now and a lot of people are proud to say oh Mifri Ghana, Mifri Ghana, this is where yeah. I'm from. So right so, now so, I'm so able what, to carry myself mm, as a proud Ghanaian. Great. So when we come back, I want to know whether you have you know, intentions of collaborating with any of them. But let's take a look at Mifilio, you know, one of the music on his debut that he'll be launching. So yeah. let's take a look. And that is Mifilio by uh, Kinsley Rhymes. And that is on his debut that nine of the song, one of the nine songs on his album, uh, debut that he'll be releasing. So he calls it a mini album. Yeah. And he said you've titled it Gifts and Curses. Yeah, yes, Why Gifts and Curses? So like when I started doing this music thing, not a lot of people actually felt that I could actually do it. Mm -hmm. And with me, I felt like it's the talent God has given to me. So the gifts represent the talent God has given to me. And the curses represent the people that like doubted I could actually do this. Mm. So when you look at the artwork, you see like I'm raising my hands to the skies, like trying to grab a mic from the skies, which represents the gift. And there's people down there trying to pull, pull me down. down. So this is a balance between those who doubt me and God who's trying to tell me that I can actually do this. So you need the curses to propel you to get to your... Yeah. Yes, yeah. you know, yeah. you know that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You need because they actually to inspire you to, yeah. to go, you know. Yeah. So, so you, so well, so uh, every song on that album tells a story. Yeah. That's so basically, the first three songs on the EP basically relates with the title. Mm -hmm. So the first one is titled "Partisans and Skeptics." Mm -hmm. So those are the people that support, and those that don't support. Yeah. And Skeptics then, are people who doubt will yeah, they work, yeah, will they yeah. not work. And the partisans are those that yeah, are interested. Actually help and then the second one is also titled Tell Him. So it's like I'm sending a message to them that the guy has finally arrived. Yeah. And then the third song on there is titled Look Look featuring Scarface, which also is like it's in the form of those that in like with Look Look like the first like the first few lines on this like first of all them say i no go last mm -hmm. every song i do them say it be work mm -hmm. so many man them stand them my back mm -hmm. me training hard now i can't attack uh -huh. you see me no good artist me quit rock cry no go blow plus hit me more drama now look at this me drop pay one life then pay attention everywhere i go my name they mention how 
far I come, it be God in blessing. I swear down cause now bra So it's like the Luku Luku is also telling a story with the whole And that's what I'm just listening and I'm feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could rap. <laughs> so is there any collab coming up? Oh yeah, I've got collaboration with a um, few Ghanaian artists as well. So I have a collaboration with Agbeshi. Okay. Yeah, the guy that play, um, sang Roro Home with Medical. Okay. Yeah, I've got a collaboration with him. I've got a collaboration with Ifri Music. Okay. Ifri Music as well. And I've got one with um, a Tumpine okay. drums. But you've shared st the same stage with Stone Boy, yeah. the likes of Kiddy, and do you hope to collaborate with any of them? Oh, yeah. Or they don't match? Oh, your, oh your no, 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 no. Of, of course, I okay. like to collaborate with everyone. Everyone. And okay. obviously, we are, like, my team is in talk with some of them. Like, okay. currently in Ghana, I'm hoping to do a song with Creamy. Okay. And yeah, we've already spoken about it. But are they showing interest? I'm, oh, yeah. I'm looking at like, the, like, the big guys. Are oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Definitely. Okay, there's but few, so, but you're there's few on my line that I'm supposed to meet after the interview. So, ah, yeah. I wish you all the best, yeah, my thank dear. You very much. When are you hoping to um, launch this debut? So hopefully by next week it should be out. Next yeah, week. next week Wednesday it should be out. The EP uh, should be out. Yeah. Kinsley Rhymes. Yeah. Wish yeah. You and all the also, best. I want to tell the viewers that with this particular EP, I've decided that all the royalties that I get from the EP will be channeled towards like a charity organization in Ghana. Which so, charity organization? For now, my team is looking at Osu Children's Home. Osu yeah, Children's so Home. So we've already spoken to them. Okay. We've booked their date down. Because I already done like a pre release party in London that mm -hmm. when people came, they bought like the EP, they pre released and stuff like that. So you're encouraging so, people to buy? Yeah, to buy, to help the needy. Like, and obviously, I've also prove to them on Instagram on my social media that this is what we are using the money for because mm -hmm. it's not every money that we need that we have to spend in game like for mm -hmm. me at the current so current for you me. charity is yeah, basic yeah, for you yeah. and it's a priority yeah. for you like so you're currently I'm good so I would yeah. like to see the less privilege yeah. you're good as in you're good yeah. 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 currently, currently <laughs> is this good, your so. style <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Thing so if you perform you hand the back oh no not like I wear a lot of stuff in it like today I just throw it matches with my trainers so why not Kinsley Rhymes, yeah. thank you so much thank for coming. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> so please support Kinsley Rhymes, who will be releasing his debut next week. He says charity is his priority, so when you buy, everything he gets from that goes to charity. He's looking at supporting the Osu Children's Home.